Hey everyone! Today in our class we are going to learn about the techniques for adding and subtracting fractions in mathematics. Pay attention with the same denominators. Therefore, there are two scenarios. When is your next class on addition and subtraction? I am planning to work on the addition and subtraction of fractions, so I would like to know when I can attend the class. Please let me know the schedule. Thank you for your assistance and prompt response. We will be examining two cases. These cases involve fractions with both the same and different denominators. We will analyze the similarities and differences between them in terms of their denominators. We will go over these cases together, so with the same and with different denominators. But first, let's discuss the process of adding or subtracting fractions that have the same denominators. I would like to perform the addition of 1 fourth and 2 fourths in order to calculate the total sum of the fractions. I need to add the fraction data. But in order to understand what needs to be done, let's pretend with you that we're representing the data as a fraction and as a result, we'll get our sum. Okay, 1 fourth. Consequently, I divide it and as a result, I ultimately have one part out of a total of four parts. So I had one piece out of a total of four pieces. For the next step, I am going to draw the second fraction on the paper, 2 quarters. That is equivalent to 2 out of the 4 equal parts. Well now, if I need to add, that is to summarize these parts, let's commence reasoning. One piece removed from a set of 4, followed by the extraction of two additional pieces from the same set of 4. What do I end up with? Let's visualize and depict the scenario. I have one piece out of 4, and additionally I have two pieces out of 4. Let's depict it in a different manner somehow. And two portions out of a total of four. What did you end up with? In the end, I ended up with three pieces out of four. So like we're putting together this puzzle and in the end we end up with three pieces out of four. Now let's go back to our example. What do we have here? We have one fourth plus two fourths. Please pay attention. In the response, in our final response, we make sure to keep the same denominator. That is, the denominator remains unchanged. However, what happens to the numerator? We need to consider the impact on the numerator in this situation. So, I jot 4. How did we get this C? This is 1 plus 2. Well, I'll grab it, in brackets. So, how did I acquire it? So, I added 2 to 1. As a consequence, to add two fractions with the same denominators, all you need to do is add the numerators together. This is the method for combining fractions when the denominators are equal. That's all the rules. If we need to subtract, let's say we take 3 fifths minus 2 fifths. I ain't gonna draw that in the picture. Let's go by the rules, shall we? In order to add or subtract fractions with the same denominators, all we need to do is work with the numerators. I am maintaining the denominator as it is. I am not making any modifications to the denominator. So, I had this one thing happen to me, let me tell you about it. And I subtract the numerators. Consequently, you receive one-fifth. That is the entirety of the situation. So, when you add fractions, I mean, when you see a plus sign or a minus sign, you promptly look at the denominators without hesitation. The denominators should be the same. If the denominators are the same, then we only work with the numerators. One more instance. Let's consider 5 sixteenths plus, let's consider 12 sixteenths for illustration. Here we go again, what am I doing? I am looking at the denominators, I have the same denominators. So I leave the denominator alone and add up the numerator. And as a result, you end up with 17 sixteenths. Well, that's the answer. So 17 sixteenths is the answer. But in math, it's customary to separate the whole part. Recall how we separate the whole part. When dividing 17 by 16, I get 1. There's just a little bit left. So I can write 1.116. 1 and we're going to write down this answer together. So in order to add or subtract fractions with the same denominators, you just work with the numerators. You add them up, you add them up, or you read but you only work with numerators. We absolutely do not make any changes to the denominator. 
That is all the information you need to know when adding or subtracting fractions that have the same denominators. At the next class, we'll go over what to do when we have different denominators. And that's it for today. Goodbye until we meet again.